Is the monolithic architecture making coming back? What goes around comes around. And we're seeing articles with headlines how we went back from microservices to monolith again. But don't panic, there's no need to overhaul your project. In this video, we'll delve into how to select the right architecture and read clickbait headlines without getting overwhelmed. Let's go. So, has the trend for monolithic architecture returned? Are microservices still a better choice? The good news? Neither is superior. Good news, everyone! There will always be people who aim to lure you into comment sections with flashy headlines. Don't be fooled by all the hype in a bold headline. Delve into the content. It might just be a mundane case study from a corporate blog, offering nothing revolutionary. But getting back to the main question, what should you opt for? A traditional monolithic architecture or trendy microservices? The answer is straightforward. Choose Choose what works best for you and not the popular and trendy one. Now, a bit of theory. In a monolithic architecture, all business logic is packed into a single application. Contrastingly, in microservices, the logic is divided across nearly autonomous modules that communicate data amongst themselves. Monolithic architectures are great for rolling out MVPs when you need to launch a product faster and test hypotheses, rather than spending time on an exhaustive setup of the entire environment. They are also suitable for projects with no massive scaling ambitions, for example, an online store of a small clothing brand. The likelihood of such a platform turning into a full-blown social network with multimedia content and online gaming is slim. On the other hand, microservices are needed in large complex projects with extensive code bases and large development teams. New modules can be easily integrated into such architecture, and if something breaks, it does not crash the entire project. However, many projects adopt a hybrid architectural approach. Even in a small monolithic-based online store, the map can be integrated as an iframe, a separate microservice. Similarly, a substantial application can be divided not into the smallest pieces, but into several functional modules, each encompassing multiple services. Of course, there are cons to consider. That's why all these trendy articles and headlines appear. That's true. Monoliths can be difficult to maintain. Their expansive code base might be daunting for novices. Updates can be time-consuming and might introduce feature conflicts. To address these challenges, the shiny solution of microservices emerged. Everyone rushed to split their projects into the smallest possible parts. However, they soon realized that over 100 virtual machines for one project isn't cost-effective. Ironically, the solution to reduce these costs is to go back to monolithic architecture. Our suggestion? Strike a balance and tailor your architecture to your specific requirements. No need to rush and separate everything into microservice, but make sure to plan for future growth. This approach will foster a robust architectural foundation while ensuring cost efficiency. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for the latest tech insights.